Well, speaking of colleges and universities, a new study found that the mental health of many college students has suffered due to relocating and other changes caused by the COVID-19 pandemic. Christine McCarthy has more. Students already have higher rates of mental health problems and the life disruption of suddenly relocating, trading independence for moving back in with family and a feeling of loss have amplified those issues. If the coronavirus pandemic weren't stressful enough for everyone, being forced to relocate unexpectedly can be especially distressing. It's what many college students have dealt with as COVID-19 began shutting down campuses last March. The mere fact of needing to move from um, where you live is something that can affect you mentally. Dr. Cindy Liu, clinical psychologist at Brigham and Women's Hospital, is one of the researchers who studied the psychological effects of this displacement by surveying nearly 800 students between last April and August. About a third of the participants in our study were um, asked to leave campus and to move off of campus. Um, and that um, those who had to relocate showed higher rates of mental health problems. Those problems include depression, anxiety, loneliness, and COVID-related worry and grief. A lack of access to social support and mental health resources compound those issues. One major stressor was leaving behind personal belongings. If we think about um, items that are important to us. Um, it could be things like medication that really have a huge effect on how well we do. Um, we had students who um, were studying abroad and couldn't get back to campus and yet their items were removed um, without them being there. For many students, a lack of communication from their schools and clarity on when they could return heightened their distress. Lou says the findings published in the Journal of Psychiatric Research should inform colleges of the impact of displacement and the need for ample support. We hope that there will not be another major outbreak, um, but that is to be determined. While we do want to uh, mitigate contagion, we also have to acknowledge the mental health consequences of our decisions. And this is not where the study ends. Researchers will continue to follow students to see what long-term effects this displacement has on them. And speaking of mental health, be sure to tune in each Monday for a new Mental Health Monday story here on WZDX.